Hi, today I'm going to be making three memory bears. So somebody sent in these two shirts. I have a, a gray and a blue. They're kind of a, a thermal long sleeve shirt. And they asked me if I could take these two shirts and turn them into three memory bears. If you don't know what a memory bear is, it is a stuffed animal, typically a teddy bear that is made using a loved one's clothing or some other material, a blanket, a dress, something of that nature that is then transformed into a stuffed animal as a keepsake, as a, a memorial. So I'm going to take these shirts over to my cutting mat and start separating the sleeves and cutting up the seams so I have nice flat piece of fabric and then I'll trace out my pattern and cut that out. Now I'm over at my cutting board. I'm going to take each of the shirts and I'm going to cut the sleeves and cut up the side seams and that will allow me to have flat pieces of fabric to work with. Now that I've cut all the seams and the sleeves off, you can see how much fabric one shirt really has. I'm going to set that shirt to the side and go ahead and cut the second shirt. Now that I have both shirts completely cut in flat pieces of fabric, I'm going to go ahead and iron on some interfacing. I like to use interfacing with my memory bears. I find that it gives just a little bit of structure when I'm cutting. It stops the fabric from stretching and getting distorted. And you can see this fabric does have quite a bit of stretch. So let me plug in my iron and then I'll Start attaching this interfacing. These two shirts were sent to me to make three bears for someone whose father had passed away. They asked me if I could combine the two shirts mixing the fabric so that each bear had some of each shirt. I'm going to try and make each bear unique so that each person will have their very own special bear. I'm going to see what's on the shirt that I could add to the bears if there's any buttons or tags or images then I'll make sure to include those. I'm also going to embroider the foot pad for each one of the bears. And I'm going to include a special embroidery heart. Right now, I'm going to attach my interfacing. This gray charcoal shirt does have three buttons that went down the front. So I'm going to include one button for each bear. Maybe I'll add it to his ear or his paw, his foot. Um, I may add it to the, to the belly. I'm going to check and see if the blue shirt had buttons.
Since the blue shirt doesn't have any buttons and I only have three, I think I'll add it to each of the bear's foot. One foot will have the embroidery dad. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the button to that foot. I think that would make the bear a little bit more special and just another part of the shirt that they could have. I'm going to cut off a little bit more interfacing. I'm going to continue adding the interfacing to the second shirt and then I'm going to start tracing out my pattern pieces. Since I only have two shirts, but I'm making three bears, I'm going to combine the material for each of the three bears. I think one bear, his face will have the blue and the charcoal, and then another bear will have the charcoal and then the blue. And then the third bear, I think he will have a solid face, either with the blue or the black, and then his ears will be a different color. I'm gonna do the same with the body and the arms and the legs, just combining the two shirt colors so that each, each bear becomes unique and has its own personality and its own appearance. That way, each bear will be special to their owner. So now I'm gonna start tracing my pattern pieces. Before I continue tracing, I'm going to cut out the pieces that I have. That way I can make sure to match them up to the corresponding, uh, to the corresponding color. Now 
I've been making memory bears for quite a few years now. And I remember the first time I heard, heard of a memory bear, it was someone who had taken their baby's clothes and created a, a teddy bear, a keepsake for them to have as a reminder of when their, when their child was little. And I just thought that was a beautiful idea. So that was the first bear that I ever made, was a bear for myself out of my son's pajamas, uh, baby pajamas. And after I made the bear, it, it kind of gave a, a new purpose to those old clothes. I had a box of baby clothes that I just couldn't part with. Um, you have those memories. Memories can get attached to physical things and it's, it can be hard to let them go. And instead of them just sitting in a box that I would see sometimes, this way, the bear, I could, I could keep it on display. I could have it in my bedroom, I could put it in my living room, and every time I saw it, I would remember that onesie, that, that shirt, and my son when he was little. After I'd made that bear, I shared it on social media, and I got some, some questions, and some people contacted me asking if I could make bears for them. And it wasn't until that point that I, that I discovered that a lot of people make um, memory bears more for a memorial bear or a keepsake bear for someone who has passed away. And I just thought that was an amazing idea. What a wonderful gift to give to somebody. Um, when someone loses someone, everyone grieves in different ways and having something tangible, something they could hold, something they could touch and, and look at to remind them of, of a loved one who passed away, that's a beautiful gift to give to somebody. And I'm glad that I'm able to, to help create those for people. So now I'm going to go ahead and trace my pattern pieces on the black shirt.
Now I have all the pieces cut out for all three bears. I think each bear is going to be unique and really cute. I'm excited to see them complete. Now I'm going to go over to my embroidery machine and I'm going to embroider a foot pad for each one of the bears and a heart for each one of the bears. Then I'll take all the pieces over to my sewing machine and start assembling. Almost any shirt or clothing item can be turned into a memory bear. Do you have an item in your closet or tucked away that you'd like to see turned into a memory bear? Let me know in the comments below.
You can see I made this bear with a blue head and two-toned ears. This little guy has a blue strip down the front and black cheeks with blue ears. And then this little guy has the black down the front, blue cheeks and black ears. I also tried to add a variety to the heart on the chest. Um, one is black, one is gray, and one is blue. Each bear has one of the buttons put on their foot. That was from the black shirt. And each bear has something embroidered on the opposite foot. Now I'm going to get them all stuffed up and stitched up and ready to go home. I think adding the stuffing might be one of my favorite parts because you get to see the bear kind of come to life and take shape. There's one bear stuffed. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff the other two and then I will stitch up all of the arms, legs, and bellies. Okay, all three bears are stuffed. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch them up and then we'll be done. All right, all three of the bears are complete. I'm gonna lay them down here so you can kind of see each one. I'm 
Look how sweet their little faces are. They turned out so cute, so happy with how they turned out. I think with these, uh, these bears were an excellent way to show that almost any shirt can become a memory bear. Just with these two thermals, I was able to create three bears, each unique and special, and they're gonna be a, a wonderful gift, a wonderful keepsake for somebody. That's my video. I hope you liked it. I can't wait to show you how the three bears turned out. Here they are. Aren't they cute? They're so handsome. It's hard to believe that two shirts were transformed into these three precious bears. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button.